right. Has not yet been plowed. We've got about a foot, foot and a half here in Burlington. This is a good old Burlington machine and tool in Burlington, Wisconsin. You need machine work done, this is where you go. You do not get better. The owner is a family friend. I take care of the lot for him. He does me a solid when it comes to needing things fabricated. I'm going to be asking him to fabricate some uh, plates for the blade to correct the A-frame angle on it with this lift kit. Because it tends to like to lift the front of the Jeep off just a little bit, which uh, causes the blade to trip before it should, and also makes deflection uh, an issue at full angle. It'll lift a corner of the blade, which obviously we don't want. I want the blade to stay level the whole time through. this property uh, anytime unless it is very early or very late. It's on a really busy street that goes to the industrial park. And it's got uh, some bushes that make seeing around the corner of the building blind. This is actually the back lot. This is where he tends to park. Leaving the other lot for the customers when they do arrive. Not that he's ever terribly busy. I gotta yell at him a little bit and tell him to trim up those branches and stuff. Not that I'm terribly worried about scratching this thing up, but I didn't have scratches before, I just got them now. here that I can't hit with the blade, but I may as well at least try and make it easier for him to shovel it, back drag it out. The reason the pump is moving so much is I was just switching between uh, auto raise mode and auto lower mode. dragging to uh, transition back over to pushing.
pushing two feet high of snow that's been thrown by the city plow trucks. I am in full-time four-wheel drive, not even in part-time, and it doesn't care. make more passes with this than I would with a full size and I do have a lot more cleanup work with this than I would with a full size but I can't get a full size truck where I can get this number one and number two full size isn't going to fit in my garage with the snowplow on it in my shop at home my parents' house, I should say. Uh, that'll fit just fine. But uh, I, you know, it's winter. I leave the just leave the plow on this thing full time. If it's bad weather, I'll take this. If it's good weather, I've got a little Mini Cooper convertible that's kind of the goofiest little thing for a six foot two blonde haired blue eyed Norwegian to be driving but you know for just me and maybe one other person it's actually roomy um, so it works I'm, all, I'm okay with the car I like it Here, this is a disaster waiting to happen for future plows. So I'm going to move this whole pile back. That pile has been there for a week and a half, so it is going to be tougher for me to move. into it over it because again this thing does not care I think that's uh, about all I want to really do on the roadside drag the door here. others. 
and uh, we'll be going in through one of the other doors, I'm sure. So at least this, he just has to toss that off.
snow for any plow vehicle. You're always going to have things rolling back over. So I'm doing a butcher job first. And then I will uh, do a nice cleanup.
back drag blade to clear the door.
remember I just got new tires today. They're a little oversized. I've got uh, two and a half inch budget boost with iron rock uh, upper arms, all new ball joints, suspension, etc. Um, I'm putting Old Man Emu three and a half inch heavy duty springs in it this week with uh, Bilstein struts and shocks. That'll give me the clearance so that I don't rub lock to lock. I already beat the pinch welds today when I put the new tires on. They're uh, 265, 70, 16 Goodyear Wrangler authorities, which are uh, extremely aggressive all-terrain. And uh, I have to say I'm excessively impressed with what they can do in the snow. Um, I'm not impressed with the road noise, but it's a hum, not a drone. Not at all like a mud terrain. Uh, I can live with it. Again, it's not a daily driver. Can be. Perfectly capable of doing it. Perfectly reliable. Um, I rebuilt the engine, rebuilt the transmission, rebuilt the axles. These axles are factory 410 geared. Uh, they came out of a special order Renegade that I bought that uh, the front end looked like it had uh, survived Mad Max. Sorry about the noise. These things will cook you out of the cabin so I have the window down. my last stop for the night. It is time to go home. Thing does really well. I would recommend it, but you've got to set it up right.